Hello and welcome to this Design Cuts video tutorial. Today we're looking at five Illustrator path direction tips, tricks and gotchas. If you've never considered the importance of path direction before, perhaps it's time to do so. The first tip is that the wrong path direction can mess with your blends. I have two identical sets of lines here. They're both half circle lines and they're sort of positioned so that they look like a full circle. I'm going to apply a blend to this and in a minute we're going to see why the blend doesn't work, perhaps the way you think it should. I'll select the shapes Object, Blend, Make. I'll double click on the Blend tool here and we're going to use specified steps and I'll set this to 15. Now if the blend doesn't look the way that you thought it should look, let's see why path direction has something to do with that. These are the exact same sets of lines and the easiest way to work out what direction a path goes in is to add an arrowhead to it. In this case I'm adding an arrowhead to the end of the line. So this is the beginning of the blue line, this is the end. This is the beginning of the orange line, this is the end. When lines are like this, this is what your blend is going to look like. Let's reverse one of these paths and I'm going to use a tool that was new in Illustrator CC 2017 and obviously is in later versions. I'll select the line and choose Object and then Path, Reverse Path Direction. Now the two paths begin at the bottom and at the top. I'll remove the arrowheads, I don't need them any longer. But let's reapply the Blend, Object, Blend, Make. I'll double click on the Blend tool and again we're going to use Specified Steps and 15 Steps. Now the blend looks like what you probably thought it should look like, so when your blends don't work, ask yourself whether perhaps path direction might be the cause. Flipping an art brush doesn't change the path direction. Here I have a line to which I've applied one of the art brushes that is shipped with Illustrator. I'm going to take a couple of copies of this. If we want our brush head to go in a different direction, we can do that. But doing that doesn't change the direction of the path. What you would do would be to select over the line with the brush applied to it, go to the Brushes panel and click here on Options of Selected Object and then just flip the brush along the path. The brush looks perhaps the way you want it to look, but the path direction hasn't changed. Let's do that this time with a path direction change. I'll select over the brush and let's use that new feature that was added in Illustrator CC 2017, Reverse Path Direction. If I grab all of these paths and add an arrowhead to them, you'll see what has happened. In these original two lines, the direction is from here to here. And again, from here to here, we were able to flip the brush, but we didn't change the path direction. In this case, when we changed the path direction, not only did we flip the brush, but of course, we also changed the path. Flipping a brush profile also doesn't change the path direction. I have two lines here. I'm going to select both of them and I'm going to apply a brush profile to them. We'll use this width profile. So obviously it's thick at one end and thin at the other end. Now if we want to flip this so it goes the other way, we can do so from the Stroke option. So I'm going to select the line. I'll go to the Stroke panel here and there's a Flip Along option. But what that's done is it might have flipped the brush profile, but it hasn't changed the direction of the path. Let's have a look and check by adding an arrowhead to the very end of the path. And both of these have got arrowheads at the same end, even though the two lines, the brush profiles on those two lines, look very different. Now if you would prefer to change the direction of the line rather than flipping a brush profile, here's what you can do. I'll select over the line and it's always been possible to change line direction in Illustrator using the pen tool. It just can be a little hit or miss. 
I'll go to the pen tool and what I need to do is to click on the anchor point at one end of the line but only one of these anchor points actually works to flip the line so you have to do it a little bit by trial and error so when I click this anchor point nothing happens I'll press escape it's this one that if I click on it with the pen tool will flip the direction of the line changing the direction of text on a line when you use the type on a path option to create type on a path such as I have done here on this spiral path you may want to reverse it you can see that my text begins out here and ends in the middle of the spiral well what if I want it to start here on the spiral and work its way out well we can do that but in this case the object path reverse path direction option just doesn't work so we'll be stuck with the pen tool version I'll click on the pen tool and now I need to find which point on the line is going to be the one that will flip the path for me now you might see that the pen tool has a little slash beside it here but when I hold it over the anchor point in the middle of the line it's got an asterisk this is indicating to me that this is the one that is going to flip the path direction the same way as I did before I'll need to press escape to disable the pen tool but now my text is winding back the opposite direction around the spiral when working with compound paths the path direction will control how the overlap area looks I have a document here with three identical sets of shapes these are just circles there's a black filled circle and a gray filled circle now they're not in groups there's nothing special about them they're just arranged so that they overlap well let's take this set which is identical to this set and let's make a compound path out of it I'll select them right click and choose make compound path you'll notice that the overlap area between these two shapes is now see-through if I grab them and move them over here you'll see the shape behind them You'll also note that a compound path can only have a single color so everything has changed to black well let's do that again here no surprises it looks exactly as it did previously but if I go to the group selection tool here and just select this particular path the path that relates to the right hand circle and then change the direction of that path something very different is going to happen this time because this is a compound path the tool that I will use is in the attributes panel window attributes this is a path direction option and I can reverse the path direction using this it only works on a sub path of a compound path so that's one of the elements within a compound path and when I do that when I flip the direction you'll see that the overlapping area between these two shapes is no longer see-through it's filled with color so when you're working with compound paths and if perhaps the overlap on a compound path doesn't work the way that you want it to then try selecting one element in that compound path and change its direction in the attributes panel and see if you get the result that you're looking for I hope that you've enjoyed learning these Illustrator path direction tips, tricks and gotchas. Let us know what you think in the comments below and give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the tutorial. Until next time, I'm Helen Bradley for Design Cuts.